Hello everyone and welcome back to the Breakdown How To. Today I'm going to be talking about how to install the Millionaire mod in Minecraft 1.12.2. Before we get on into it, I want to remind you that this video is brought to you by Game Service. Go to thebreakdown.xyz slash server. First link down below to get an awesome 24 hour Minecraft server for just $1 per month. It's freaking awesome. We use them ourselves here. You won't regret it. Again, that's thebreakdown.xyz slash server. Now, let's go ahead and get the Millionaire mod installed. To do that, it's pretty simple. Just come over here to the breakdown.xyz slash forge, which is the second link down below. That would take you to our website where you then want to scroll down until you see the big green download forge button on the screen right there. Click that and it will take you off to files.minecraftforge.net where we want to find the 1.12.2 version of forge. Now as you can see right there it is. It's selected. If it's not right here, you can come over here to the side find it and then click on it but ours is selected so we're good to go now we want to go under download latest here and click on installer once we do that it will take us off to add focus where you don't want to click anything at all on this page period click absolutely nothing until the skip button appears up here in the top right once this red skip button appears Click that red skip button and it will download Forge. Don't click anything else on this screen, right? And then whenever you're going to keep this file down here, make sure it says jar at the end right there. If it does, you can then go ahead and keep it and boom, Forge is downloaded. We can close out of Add Focus. Now we need to download Millionaire. And to do that, you want to go to the third link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash millionaire. Pretty simple stuff. And it will take you here where you then want to go over to files in the top bar. And then you want to find the most recent version for 1.12. So right here we have it, 1.12.2, and that's the most recent version. We can download it. I promise this mod is safe if it asks us to keep it down here, which it probably will. And the reason I can promise that this mod is safe is it's been downloaded 42,000 times. So let's go ahead and keep it, and then we can minimize our browser. And on our desktop, we have two things. We have Forge and we have Millionaire. Now, if these aren't on your desktop, don't freak out. Just hit the Windows key. It looks like the uh, the Windows icon up here in the top right. And R at the exact same time and type in Downloads. Right like that. Hit Enter and it will take you to your Downloads folder. These should be in here. Drag them to your desktop just for ease of use. Once they're on your desktop, we want to start off with Forge. Right click on it. Do Open With. Java TM Platform SC Binary. This will then open up the handy dandy Forge installer where you then want to click Install Client and click OK. It will now go through, download some things, do some stuff, and woohoo, it's successfully installed Forge Client Profile. Awesome. Click OK and we can now delete Forge over here from our desktop. If it doesn't let us, like this, no worries. Once we open and close Minecraft, we can delete that. Now we need to install the Millionaire mod. To do that, the Windows scanner or keyboard and R at the exact same time again. And then we want to, instead of typing downloads, we want to type percent, A-P-P-D-A-T-A, -A, percent, and hit enter. It will then take us off to our roaming folder where we then want to go into .minecraft. And then in here, we should have a mods folder. But Nick, what if I don't have a mods folder? Well, don't freak out. Calm down. It's okay. Just right-click, create a new folder, and type mods. M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that. And boom, there we go. Now you can open up your newly created mods folder, and then just take the millionaire mod from your desktop and drag it into that mods folder. You can then delete the one on your desktop. Now, we need to open up the Minecraft launcher, but while we're doing that, I want to remind you guys to please like the video and subscribe to the channel for more awesome how-to content on computers, on all that stuff, every single day of the week. It really does mean the world to us. So, once we're in the Minecraft launcher, we want to select Forge as uh, the version we want to play. So to do that, come down here, click the little green arrow next to the play button, and then select the profile titled Forge. You should now be able to hit play, but if you have an issue, right, if you hit play and you have an issue, come back to the Minecraft Launcher, exactly where we're at, go up here to Launch Options, and then click on the Forge Profile here. Then you want to click on the drop-down box next to Version, and then scroll all the way down to the bottom, where you'll probably have multiple versions of Forge, like I do. We want to click the one with the biggest number at the end. For example, the biggest number is 2654. The smallest would be 2611. So we want to go with the biggest one right here, which is .2654. Pretty simple stuff. And then click Save. It will now allow us to go back to News here, select the Forge profile again, 
click play and it should work. If it doesn't, post in the comment section down below. I'll reply to every single comment we get and I will try my best to help you. But uh, yeah, now we can go ahead and launch into Minecraft and I'll see you guys on the main menu. Once you're on the Minecraft main menu, it's really easy to see if uh, Millionaire is installed and we can do that by clicking the mods folder here and scrolling down and there it is. Awesome stuff. You can also go into single player here and it might give me an error and if it does, don't worry. Yeah, that's just where I did a previous mod tutorial. It's just freaking out about that. Don't worry about it. If you see that, you can click yes, but you won't. And boom, as you can say, quest, creation quest. Chapter, the shadow, not started. Chapter, the alchemist, not started. Chapter, the fallen king, not started. It gives you all the quests and all that stuff. And then as it says, as explore and press V to locate villages, right? No village closer than two kilometers. Keep searching. So you can go around and click until you find a village. And then once you find a village, you guessed it, you can then uh, explore it and start a quest and do all that stuff. This is a really, really cool mod, by the way. And I think it can really add another layer to Minecraft Vanilla with just one mod. That's the thing. Many, many Minecraft mods need a bunch of stuff to really make the game cool. But if you added this and, let's say, Tinker's Construct together, man... It would be awesome. But nevertheless, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And be sure to subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single day of the week. We're building a community here. It's a new channel, so your subscription really does mean a ton to us. So thank you very much in advance. Nevertheless, guys, if you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up. I've already said that. I'm Nick. This has been The Breakdown How-To. And I am out, guys. Peace.